A lot of folks shoot a lot of deer and pigs, but what happens to them afterwards? We're here at Double D. We're going to take you behind the scenes from start to finish on what happens with your animal and how it winds up delicious at your house. customer, you know, wants to see our process, we'll show them that. I mean, we don't have really anything to hide with respect to that. Um, you know, we're, we're very transparent with that, and, and we can certainly appreciate people's concern that they know where their food's coming from. That's a big push, you know, the organic, the natural, the locally sourced. There's nothing more organic or natural or local than the, than the animal you harvest yourself. Butchers are deboning quarters of deer that customers have brought in. It's a little bit of a messy process, but before you make sausage, you've got to get the bones out. But these guys, when they get in a rhythm, they can really roll. Yeah, normally on an average day, we'll process 2,000 to 3,000 pounds that comes through this room. A couple of things, uh, because we've been doing it a long time. Uh, we still have employees that have, were, were there and remember the old building. Uh, we've got people that have been here for close to 40 years and knew my grandfather very well. And so we've tried to remain consistent in the process to do what we always did. We've not changed the recipes, we've not changed the formulas. Uh, the other thing that sets us apart is the fact that when you bring your meat in, it's your meat. And, and we go to great lengths to make sure that when you bring a, a deer or a hog or whatever it may be, that your meat stays your meat all the way through the process. And we don't co-mingle and we don't mix your meat with someone else's. We're in the processing room, this is our stuffer. Uh, after the, the sausage is mixed and blended, this is where we actually stuff it into casings and then hang it on the trees when it goes in the smokehouse. Buffalo, red stag, uh, we had some African exotic zebu type animal come in, uh, you know, with giant shoulder blades and, and weird looking back straps. Uh, real pretty meat, but the structure was a lot different. We've done alligators, we've done ostriches. With the increase in the hog population, we have a lot more cases where people will shoot a deer and a hog, bring both of them in and have us blend it together at the same time. And that actually makes a very, very good product. Uh, that, we see that a lot. Finally, something more my speed. Learn from her, you gotta stuff them in there. We may offer a few more varieties of sausage because people are getting more adventurous uh, with different flavors and things that may have been unthinkable in the past. People are willing to try, maybe. And, and quite honestly, a lot of that starts when we do custom processing but keep, people want those different flavors and, and that different experience. And if it's one that takes off, the jalapena and cheese sausage is a result of that. We, we, tried, we that. tried it. Part of the reason why Double D has been successful uh, is because we are consistent with what built the business. We, we don't look to reinvent the business. We don't look to reinvent the product. Uh, we want to keep things as traditional and consistent as possible and at the same time keep up with modern technology and keep up with the changing environment in raw materials or customer demands or the market in general. As it changes, we obviously have to change with that. 
but we want to be as true to the original intent, which is a local meat company. And that was what my grandfather always dreamed. That's one of the reasons why we have the market. Uh, it's because he wanted a butcher shop. He, uh, that was his dream. Uh, it was called Dutch's Dream. And, and that's something that we want to maintain for as long as the Lord lets us do it.